like what could we do here to help Cuban citizens or even less even if we're being specific with LGBTQ because obviously that's our avenue um, but you know we have we're our families are all Cuban we all have ties to Cuba in some way why should we help Cuba why should we help Cuban citizens and how do we how do we even do that help us spread the voice help us uh, explain the Cuban situation help us and um, good points yeah help us help us to translate what is going on on the island the, the the harsh reality but also our demand for change what people is doing in the street help us spread that voice in uh, into the american public but also help us to um make the representative of the american people coherent to, with that with that feeling help us put them in the position of supporting the Cuban, the Cuban civil society, the Cuban opposition, the Cuban people, preventing that any coin of that, of that aid goes to the regime. To the regime, you have to go with targeting sanctions, with pressure, also inviting the rest of the region. Because this is not a United States problem. There is not a conflict between the, between the Cuban people and the United States government. That's a lie. We want to be free and we want to be friends. It was a phrase that my father repeated when he when he talked mm. when he talked about the United States, and that's the reality. That's what we feel. I mean, so everybody please. could make something. Yeah. everybody could take an a step. Everyone everybody, could take a everyone step. could take an, an action. Yep. So we 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 have the disposition, and and actually we ask you to take that action with us to help us to change the things in Cuba, not just for the Cuban people, but for the whole for all of us. For all yeah, of absolutely. us, absolutely, absolutely.